Thank God it's Friday. We're going to have a fun video. Friday, we're going out with a bang. We're going out with a good video on changing on the laundromat. I'm going to show you some money, and that way everybody can be happy for the weekend, okay? It's because I like you. Let's get started. Hear that? That's the sound of money. You wanna know what sound of money is? That's it. Ching 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 ching. Ching 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 ching. My problem with all these stacked dryers is all these coin boxes. I know it's a good problem to have though. And this is my bad laundromat. Now the reason you saw some of those machines didn't have a lot of quarters in them is because I had to come in here a couple days ago and change it out. Some of my laundromats are getting so busy that I can't wait a whole week anymore or half a week. It's every couple of days. Now the reason you haven't seen a lot of change out videos is with all the annex going on, looting and whatnot, I've kind of gotten away from it for a little bit. And so now, now I can do some more for you. people bring in but you see this you see this you see that people will call you and tell you your dryer burnt their comforter that is not burnt that's melted and what happens is and if I can find this damn tag on this thing we're, we're gonna find the tag on this and I'm gonna show you something that's gonna happen in your laundromats and if something's gonna happen in your laundromat is people are gonna melt their comforters pillowcases. We're going to pull this out and I'm going to show you. Because I mean look at this. I mean they melted the shit out of it, right? The people are going to call you and they're going to say, they're going to say, your dryer, Keenan, your dryer did this. And something neat to look for, and it ain't even melted the tag, is these tags on here. Now I'm going to read to you what this tag says. I'll ask, the first question I ask them is, did you read the care tag on your, uh, 
comforter? Yeah, I've done this a million times, never had a problem. Okay, this thing's 100% polyester. Polyester is a plastic product. Machine wash cold separately. Gentle cycle, do not bleach. Tumble dry low. Cool iron if needed, do not dry clean. Tumble dryer low. I've never seen anybody ever even push the low button in here. You know why? Because when they put their 25 cents in, they pay for heat, buddy. And when they pay for that heat, they want it hot. But they don't realize they're gonna melt their stuff. Then they'll call you, and I'm sure I have a message on the phone, that my machine burnt their stuff and it's broken. It's not broken. You don't know how to, you do not know how to use it. It kills me, but this is what you're gonna deal with. And you're gonna have to decide how you're gonna deal with these customers. Whether you're gonna, cause this person will want 120 bucks. They'll be like, my comfort is gonna cost 120 bucks or 100 bucks. This thing's old as dirt. I mean, and I, I don't blame them because I understand it's their item, but they don't know how to dry it. They don't realize these are commercial dryers. These are not the dryer at home. Your dryer at home does not dry like these do. These get to be 110 degrees in there and they tumble dry. Stuff goes up, it falls down. It's called a tumble dryer. Your dryer at home doesn't work under that principle. These do. They get a lot hotter. So this is something, if you're gonna own a laundromat, or if you use a laundromat, this, is, this happens all the time. Read the tag. You know, read the tag. But I swear, and then these people will run around and tell everybody, your laundromat sucks. Those machines suck. That dryer sucks. Yeah, it sucks because it worked. It's just you didn't know how to push the right button because you put it on high heat. Now, in the industry, a lot of people program their machines that once you close the door, they go to medium heat. And the reason we do that is we try to get people to use a lower temperature because they don't need high heat. The only other thing you can do is turn the temperature of your dryer down. But you know what happens the minute we turn the dryer down? Now you'll have people that go, this doesn't get as hot as it used to. Every time. Every time. I, I've just lost track of the number of times that's happened. Another thing you're going to have to decide is when you go to your laundromat, when you go to your laundromat, if you go to change it out or to check on it and there's garbage everywhere and you have customers in your store and you walk right by all the garbage and don't put it in the garbage or don't pick it up, I'm going to tell you right now, your customers are going to notice it. And they're going to think you don't care. Now, I was just in the laundromat and my cleaning person was just showing up and I was already cleaning because guess what? It was dirty. Sometimes as an owner, you don't have that option. If you don't clean it while you're there and people see you, they're going to treat it even worse. So I'm going to tell you right now, just because you think you're not going to have to clean once in a while because you hired somebody, think again. Laundromats are not walk away. Did you catch the freebie? Shop towel. Shop towel Friday. And see like that, I clean that floor. Now look how much better that looks. I mean, you can see it behind me. That's gonna help me a lot. I mean, people are gonna be like, oh, it's not bad in here. Now, you notice I didn't wipe the machines down. Somebody else comes and does that. But I will check up on everything like that. And any business you have, you have to. Check doors, check locks, check the thermostat. 